Today's emerging technologies, along with the inclusive work culture, now allows for flexibility across organizations. Did you know that the number of companies with a remote workforce has been consistently increasing over the years? It was reported that in 2019, 66% of organizations allowed remote work. Remote work means being able to perform your job duties outside of the office. But there's a lot of advantages with remote work. It saves a lot of time, money, and contributes to an employee's well-being and happiness. As humans, we feel empowered when we have the ability to make a choice. So by an employee being able to make that choice of deciding where to work today, he feels empowered and ultimately feels happy. The current workforce today is mobile, dynamic, and it's exciting. And a lot of people take advantage of this flexible work arrangement and tend to work in coffee shops and lounges, areas with public Wi-Fi where they can connect to the organization's network and get going with their job responsibilities. But unfortunately, this advancement comes with a price information security. In 2018, it was reported that 14.4 million consumers were victims of consumer fraud and identity theft. Now, we may not be able to eliminate the risk entirely, but we can manage it. The following six tips are easy and applicable ways to protect yourself when connected to public Wi-Fi. Avoid using free Wi-Fi. If you notice that the Wi-Fi is password protected, ask the vendor for that password. I'm sure they'd be happy to give it to you. Avoid handling sensitive information such as banking and processing social security numbers when connected to these public networks. Use a VPN, which is short for virtual private network. Make sure your computer has security tools such as firewalls and antivirus solutions that can protect you from intruders. Most cell phone providers offer hotspots which allow you to connect to the internet using your phone as a Wi-Fi device. And number six, when making financial transactions online, avoid using your own debit card and rather use either a credit card or even better, purchase a prepaid card. I hope these tips help and thank you for watching.